Hey everyone, this is Michael Benarian, and today I will be walking you through our new online service that will enable us to continue the great programs our church has to offer. Today, we are covering our video conference capabilities so that you and your family can participate in our various Bible studies and other programs throughout the week. Now, the service we are using is called Google Hangouts Meet. Today, I will be walking you through three different ways that you can participate with this easy-to-use program. The example I'll be using today to cover these options will be for a Bible study. The first way is on your desktop computer. And before we begin with this, it's important to note two things. Firstly, this only works in a Google Chrome browser. If you do not have it and don't know how to get it, follow the instructions I'm about to go through in your normal browser. And at a certain step in the process, Google will indicate to you to install the correct browser. Follow their instructions to complete that installation. The second thing to note is that in order to use the desktop computer method, your computer must either have a built-in microphone or a webcam. It can have one or both, but it will not work for you if you have neither. Now with that being said, if you choose to participate in this Bible study, you will receive an email that looks something like this. All you'll have to do is click Join Meeting, and it will take you to a new web page like this. Next, you will click Join Now, and there you go. It's that simple. You are now in a video conference meeting. For some of you, you may see a couple of pop-ups asking permission to allow the use of your computer's microphone and or webcam. You will want to click Allow in order to participate. If not, it will not work for you. Now for the second method, you can use your smartphone device or tablet. This method is also simple to use, but it does have an extra step. In order to use this method, you must have the Google Hangouts Meet app installed on your device. If you know how to do that on your own, feel free to install that app now. If not, no worries, we have you covered. Just like the first method, if you choose to participate, you will receive the same email. When you click Join Meeting, one of two things will happen. If you have the app installed already, it will open the app, you'll click Join Meeting, and you will join the video conference in the app, similar to the first method. If you don't have the app installed, it will automatically take you to the Google Play Store on Android devices and the App Store on Apple devices. From there, you will click Install or Get App, and when it is finished, you can open the app and it should connect you to the video conference. If not, you can always go back to the email, click Join Meeting, and now with that app installed, it will launch the app, click Join Meeting again, and you will join the video conference. Please note that this app is free. Some devices may say processing payment when you download the app, but don't worry, you won't be charged for it. The final option is to join the conference by phone. So if all else fails, you can just call in. All you have to do is open the email and below the join meeting button, you will see a phone number to call and a pin number to enter once you connect with the service. When you enter the pin, remember to hit the pound sign when you are finished. With that, you'll enter the conference call audio only. So that's it for now. Please take a look at our next video, which will show you some tips on how to use some features when you're actually in the video conference. And if you have any questions, please email office at accdetroit.org, and we'll be happy to get back with you as soon as possible. God bless.